Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to take a look at how easy it is to flash Android 4.3 on your S4 handset. Now all shoutouts go to sammobile.com for this, who did the port over from the Google Play edition of the S4. Now this only works for the Qualcomm quad-core variants of the S4, so the model number with the GT i9 505. Now this ported slash leaked ROM came about towards the end of June 2013 and as I say because it's been ported from the Google Play edition of the S4 apparently everything works. Now before we begin I just want to point out that neither myself, Samsung or Google take any responsibility for anything that might go wrong during this process or if you completely break your handset so do proceed at your own risk. And with that in mind in order to go through this process you're going to need a rooted S4 handset with a custom recovery console installed something like twerp or clockwork mod recovery so check out the links down in the description if you don't have any of those installed but do bear in mind that it does void the warranty and finally i'll just show you what i'm running we'll go to menu settings more tab down to about device and down there you'll see the model number as being gti9505 this process will not work with the octa-core version so it has to be that exact model number the android version is 4.2.2 and the baseband version is ending in mdm as ever when you do any flashing of any roms whatsoever i would recommend that you completely back up your handset just in case anything goes wrong i personally use titanium backup and nandroid backups as well so with all the mumbo jumbo out of the way we can plug in the device into a computer using the cable that came with the handset. I've got the autoplay window pop up here and I'm going to click on open device to view the files and from here we can see the phone's internal storage as well as the 32 gigabyte micro SD card in the back of the phone. So I'm going to double click on this and in the top right of the screen you'll see an Android 4.3 zip file. Links will be in the description for this because this is the firmware ROM itself. So I'm going to right click copy and put it on my micro SD card in the phone there. Shouldn't take too long at all. That's now finished, so I don't need the computer anymore, so we'll get out of that and unplug the phone from the computer. Next up, we need to switch the phone off, so we'll just power that off. And once the phone switches off, we're going to get into the custom recovery console being Clockwork Mod Recovery, which I like to use. Phone's off, so we need to press volume up, home button, and then long press on the power button to get into the recovery console. It's vibrated, so it's recognised the input. It says recovery console in the top left so we're going to let go of the power we've still got the volume up and the home button pressed and it should vibrate again and go through the same motions there we go so we can let go of all the buttons now and it should go into clockwork mod recovery excellent we're now in the clockwork mod based recovery as you can see there version 6.0.32 and we're going to need to do a wipe data factory reset from here and i'm going to press the power button to select that Go down to yes, delete all user data, and it'll go through the motions here. Data wipe is now complete, so from the menu above, we need to go down to install zip from SD card and then make that selection there. From that menu, we need to choose zip from external SD card because that's where we put the zip file that we downloaded. And this then gives us the contents of the micro SD card in the back of the phone. And there's our zip file there, the Android 4.3. So we'll just navigate to that and hit the power button to select it. It says confirm install. This cannot be undone. Yeah, we know what we're doing. So yes to install. And then it goes through the motions here. That was quick there. Just about a minute. It says install from SD card complete. So that's now done. So we're going to go back from here. And... We're going to select a reboot system now from the top. It says root access is missing. Root device, 96%. This cannot be undone. Yeah, why not? We we'll, might as well do it now. Yes, root device. Hit power. It's just vibrated to say it's rebooting. That took his time, but as always, just be a little bit patient when you're booting up for the first time after you've flashed a custom ROM but as you can see there it's got English United Kingdom so we're gonna hit start excellent that's authenticating my Wi-Fi network and that's connecting up so shouldn't be too long because I'm not too far away from the Wi-Fi access point Google account yeah I might as well set that up shouldn't take too long to sign in as I say I'm working up the Wi-Fi not too far away I'm gonna untick those backup and restore options and location services as well there we go it's easy as that to set that up Excellent, that's got to a lock screen, so from here, let's just see how speedy it is, to be fair. 
and in the applications draw look at that buttery smoothness as well as that speed I do like that a lot and from here let's just have a look within settings and then about phone the model number there is showing as GT i9 505G and the reason for the G is as I said previously this is ported over from the Google Play edition of the Galaxy S4 so pure Android 4.3 jelly bean on here as you can see and um, while we're here I just want to go back and just have a look at the baseband version that is still ending in MDM and if I just go back to the home screen I just want to see two finger swipe toggles single finger notifications that's how easily you can install Android 4.3 Jelly Bean on your Galaxy S4 handset so pure Android any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time